Well, hello there. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm about a minute late because I just got a message right before I changed, uh, well, right before I came on, that something was inconsistent. Well, that's easy to change. Uh, but um, right now I'm going to just make sure that I have, I get a cue from uh, Facebook and it says we're live. So let me make a change in the settings and we're ready to roll. Glad you're here today. Okay, so um, not one other thing we didn't do was plug in my microphone, so I'll do that right now. It changes, it sounds a little better whenever you do that. So I will make a change and we're ready to go. So Happy New Year. I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment and I teach fun art, not fine art. So we're ready to go today. Hope you had a wonderful celebration and welcomed in the new year. I did. Did you notice I had a horse concert? Actually, I tried to do it a cow concert. I uh, couldn't attract anyone but one single horse. So I hope you'll look at the concert if you have an opportunity. Um, my hair's kind of driving me crazy. Uh, last week, uh, we completed a project. What was that? And um, this week we're going to be doing a project that I have coming up. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Let me get my settings here. And I'm going to, this is going to be a little bit different. I wasn't aware that part of my face was covered because I don't see what you see. I don't see the live, um, the little red live light on my end. So anyway, this gives you an idea of, actually this is not the one that we painted. This is one we're going to be doing. I had to change the design a little bit uh, to comply with what the um, people wanted that I will be doing this for. Uh, this was the old logo and looks nice and I liked it a lot but I did make some changes and we're going to be doing this one. Made some more changes. Sometimes that happens. Uh, this bag uh, is a 19 by 16 bag and it comes with two pockets. Oops, not the right one. It does come with two pockets, and so I'm going to show you that now. I changed from that one. I like a large bag whenever I'm, if you're like me, you want to get as much in it as you can if you're in the, sh in the out shopping. Uh, but this one has two bag, two, two very big pockets. Another thing that you need to look for when you're shopping for a painting bag like a canvas bag is that it has uh, an opening, a, like, is it called a placket or something, so that it opens out and it isn't just a seam at the bottom like this one. Now, yes, you pay a little bit more for it, but it's a nicer bag and uh, you're not paying that much more. So that's something that you want to look for. Also, um, I did uh, do have an opportunity to put some lines on here that I'm going to use for painting. Um, I've told you about this in the past, but what I usually do is um, I will put a plastic bag in here, a plastic sheet in here, so that it doesn't bleed through to the other side. So that's just kind of basic, and you do what you can to protect your project. I also outlined um, this, this outline was a picture frame, but I outlined around here so that I would be evenly um, drawing on the project. 
and I would be uh, within guidelines that I wanted to set for my drawing. Uh, this one is uh, has some words on it also. I'm leaving the words off of this logo and I'm going to show you now um, some of the brushes that we'll use. Um, for this, I like the angle just because we got some curves in here. And I love this little brush. Um, I will use it somehow, but this is, I came across it um, and it's a, uh, I was trying to find the number. Oh, that's why I have glasses. Mm hmm. Oh, it's a filbert, of course, but it's a number six, and it's so handy to have. Now, I'm in uh, today. We're just going to be going over uh, this project, and I'm trying to get it complete so I can mail it off. So, um, I will be teaching uh, this class for about 25 ladies. Uh, although men sign up for my classes a lot of times. And uh, also, I was going to say, if you come on, I hope you'll say hi and Happy New Year and all that. I've got a couple of different paints uh, out here in a palette. There, some of them are running together, you can see, but uh, mostly I'm going to be using on this is a yellow, a school bus yellow, and a gold. I think that's called school bus yellow. Anyway, it's um, I'm using mostly folk art paints today, and I'll be blending some colors in. So, uh, uh, now one of the problems or one of the issues I had with this little guy here was it was different glasses. From one year, they changed the sunglass style. So I've been trying to find out, um, you know, kind of practicing with that and seeing that it was okay. Um, somehow I will do a template. Uh, what I use to change to, so that every circle is consistent, I use a bowl. Now you can use whatever you want to, but I use a bowl. And uh, you see, uh, my outer edges will be the white. Um, as we go through here, um, I have a really busy schedule coming up uh, for the next three months, so I might be changing my YouTube, uh, my Facebook Live schedule. Not that I want to, it's just that it's, I'm going to be leaving uh, to go out of town a lot. And I don't want to... discontinue this because I get a lot accomplished, to tell you the truth. Uh, let me see, move my chair over just a little bit. But I get a lot accomplished. And last week, or in the net last couple of weeks, we uh, finished a trumpet that I had bought in New Orleans. And so I've been uh, enjoying my trumpet, but it kind of pointed out to me that I need to go ahead and get some of the other instruments out that I have. So. Um, when you come on, just say hi. But uh, they're a lot of fun to paint, plus you get to make up your own design. Now this is why this um, angle brush is helpful. Now that is... I thought I had an angle brush. Okay, and then I just finish it off with a little bit of the white. I use um, folk art acry acrylics a lot of times. I know I can always depend on the pigment. 
uh, with this particular bag because of it being um, canvas and because of it being heavyweight I may have to go back over it again when I get to uh, the very end and some of my paint is dried. Uh, the bags that I painted as samples are um, are not as big as this bag so that's why I had to do this one. Uh, I have couple of classes coming up next week that are going to be fun. Remember the bottle I did a couple of weeks ago? Well, we're going to be doing it in a class and incorporating the corks, and I've also got some other surprises for them in that. I usually don't have a classroom during the day, but we have so many people here that I have decided to do that have one class and see how it goes and it'll be a short little luncheon that it's only 10 people in this class but it's small enough that you can almost paint along with them I won't do that because I got you know you try to make sure that everything is organized this seems the January seems to be a really busy time for people, doesn't it? I mean, it's a busy time for me because I'm getting ready to uh, do a lot of teaching. And there are a lot of people in Florida that come to the, my classes. Okay, I'm going to do this and then go on to the next one. We're just doing sunshine rays. Okay. <clears throat> I'm also thinking about a later time for my classes because everybody is so busy right now. Uh, maybe a four or a five o'clock class would be better than three. I'm just going to have to look at some of my analytics and see what's going on. I have a lot of traffic at nighttime. And uh, I also have a YouTube channel that I have created uh, so you can go look at some of the projects if you're interested. Um, Now, I like to, uh, in this case, because of the sun, blend a lot of different colors in it. Did you have a good New Year's Eve? We had um, a party here, very quiet. I told you I wasn't going to make it till um, mid um, midnight, but there were a lot of fireworks uh, around midnight. So why go to bed? So if you have any particular um, time that is more convenient to you than 3 o'clock classes, just let me know. You can see it's absorbing into this, but I'm... You know, you can tell the difference in quality in bags when you start painting one beside the other. 
like the last bag that I used it just seems like I would have used twice as much the paint I don't know uh, why it absorbed it into that one so much but this one seems to be a little bit easier to apply the paint I'll just kind of blend these colors in uh, because we're going to go back anyway and make another pass after we finish. Okay. I did change my camera. If you're coming on, you'll probably notice that I changed it. In fact, I can move this over here a little bit more. Um, that side of the left, the other side of the screen was um, covering up the picture in a picture. Every once in a while, you just need to stop and Wash your brush and it'll go on smoother again. I teach fun art, not fine art. So whenever I have a project, it's usually um, has to pass the fun test. And that is that I'll feel comfortable painting it and producing it. I need to get a little more yellow. Now that kind of reveals what could have been the problem too. This yellow, for some reason, I picked up a bottle that was almost empty because I, toward the first of the year, I try to that's my cue to start adding some new colors if I need it and use them for classes. This one was kind of watery feeling. It's such a beautiful day here. Um, our area in central Florida, I'm at Florida Grand Motor Coach Resort in Webster, Florida. And our area. Hi, Lekka. It's nice to see you. Hi, Miss Marty Whitney from Sandy Gallup. Um, this part of Florida is very conducive to motorcycle riding, if you're into that. I'm not, but the people that are are out on the road today. So be careful if you go out because it's such a beautiful day here. And it's supposed to get up to about 81 where we are. I know. Sandy is a little bit south and Lekka's north in Raleigh. So just be careful of motorcycle riders. They probably uh, would appreciate me saying that as well. And yes, Sandy, we still have a motorcycle. My husband buys one, but he doesn't use it. I don't know why. Anyway, let's put a little bit more white around here. And Sandy, you'll be seeing this again. This is what the final product is going to look like since you're back on here. Oop, that's the final product. So that's the one that you'll see in a couple of weeks um, in Lakeland, Florida. Lakeland is the home of Florida Southern College, University, whatever. Anyway, Lakeland is the home of Florida Southern, and we have a very good uh, friend acquaintance, almost family, daughter, attending on a basketball scholarship. So we hope we get to see her when we go over there.
Like I hope you had a happy new year. Now the next project that I've lined up after we finish this one, I'm only going to do this one, is because I've got to have a sample ready um, immediately. Uh, will be another one that I've got to show an example of. This one is almost a deadline. Uh, I'll see. Uh oh, I'm not going to Lakeland. I'm going to the F. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, tell me if they have a logo because I'll be there at the FMA rally. I've never seen one. Good. I was thinking you'd go to see, but a C rally. But I'm looking forward to the other one. Yeah, we won't be staying there because. Um, it's not necessary. Uh, so we'll be going to Tampa uh, on, for registration and then coming back for my class. So I always look forward to that because the people are so nice. And I still hear from people from that group of uh, people. Okay. I can kind of... You know, you do kind of like your rough pass around this one. Not happy with this yellow at all. You can, I don't know whether you can see it absorbed into the canvas. It's just very, very um, watery. But it's the end of the, it's the end of the bottle. I think I'll be okay. That's okay. <laughs> I know. Oh gosh, you're going to love this. I met someone who does beautiful resin art. And today, I don't know, someone put a big bag of shells uh, underneath one of my cabinets in here. I mean, they were very liberal in purchasing shells, I think. Because there's not only... They're not only shells, but there's like those little um, branches. They're not branches, but they are off of the um, coral. You know how they? it kind of looks like little trees. So um, anyway, someone left me a big bag. I already, uh, remember I always told you, everybody will bring in things here and say, do you need this? Um, this is something that I have extra or I don't want it anymore. I'm going to throw it away. Oh, yeah, we need that. Yeah, we need that. Yeah. Uh, and some of it is really, really great material for glasses. So how can you say no to that? If you can use it. The only thing that hasn't you know, in in this particular uh, world that I live in, the only thing that doesn't work out is loads of canvases. You just don't have anywhere to put them if you're in your motor coach. But that's okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to spend some time together there. So, um, Anyway, I kind of get lost in this world of painting. You see how you just become mesmerized? And that's why it's such a... It's such a... Um, 
relaxing, mesmerizing, meditative way to spend uh, some time of your day. If you meditate, you could meditate doing this. Um, sometimes I'll turn on um, Pandora and listen to Enya. That helps me to slow down. But sometimes I don't even need that. Just, just kind of listen to the quiet. And that's where I am a lot of times. So we'd be blending in. I got a little thing right there. A little looks like a paint chip there. If that happens. So it's best just to get it off of there before it dries so it doesn't become a bump on the road. And I'm something I don't usually do is throw paint away, but I'm going to have to throw that yellow out. It's not good. Uh, I buy a lot of new paint around the first of the year because we've used so much. But then there's some that fills our paint holders. Sandy's husband, Peter, was nice enough to make um, a paint holder for us. And we love it. And I made um, some painting on the background of it. But it holds probably hundreds of pounds of paint. And some of the paint that we put in there we don't use very often. So I have to be careful to kind of... But it looks pretty. <laughs> yeah. Well... Did you have any leftovers yesterday? Like, um, our neighbors invited us over next door. These are our neighbors from New Orleans. Actually, they're from Lake Charles. And we had stuffed cabbage rolls. I want to hear what you had, Sandy. Um, we had stuffed cabbage rolls and Black Eyed Peas, um, I made rolls because everybody was kind of tired of cornbread. And what else? Cabbage rolls. Cabbage. And I think that bow and a pineapple upside down cake. Excuse me. So it was healthy. It wasn't real fattening. They also had a dinner over here, but we just didn't feel like going. And our neighbor, um, Ronnie, and his wife, Mary Ann, are two of my favorite cooks because they really do Cajun dishes well. Okay, Disney parks. Yeah. Anyway, we are going to be busy, just if you weren't here a while ago and heard this. Um, I've got so much to do to prepare for my classes. I'm going to be doing the lives on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays instead of Monday through Friday. So it isn't going to be that much different, and it gives you um, chance to get something done during that time as well. Now, if there's a time that's more convenient for you, please let me know. Uh, I've just kind of wrestled with 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 
I really start preparing for this about two in the afternoon, and it's um, it's okay when I don't have anything to do. But now I'm getting really busy. Uh, when we're traveling, not a problem. If we have internet, <laughs> which we do, most of the places where we stay um, have t towers. And we carry our own Wi-Fi, so I have a signal. But there are a lot of things happening. All those space shuttles going up Sandy. Oh, corn pudding. I love corn pudding. Somebody just made some here. I do. I love corn pudding. That's a dessert almost, isn't it? Now, ooh, I appreciate each and every one of you being here today. I know you had other things you could do. Tomorrow, we're going to continue this. I think I can finish this tomorrow and um, finish going over some of it with uh, just added pigment. Uh, I'd like to say how excited I am for the new year, and I hope you are too. Um, oh, that's awesome to have neighbors like that. If, um, if you have an opportunity, I will see you tomorrow. Like I said, though, um, I'm thinking probably after this week we'll be going Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, for uh, my Facebook Lives. I appreciate you all so much, and I've really enjoyed uh, increasing the traffic in here. Uh, my numbers are really good uh, in the evening, so I know people are looking at what we're doing. And I really appreciate loyal fans like you, Lekka, and Sandy, for being here. Uh, a lot of times PJ Monroe is on here, and that's nice, or people that I know personally, and um, they just are real nice to be here. But uh, you started off the new year right, and let's be real positive about what we're going to do from now on in this year. 2019 ran by me. It passed by so fast, and I know it did you. So let's plan to get some projects done and get some uh, interesting things done this year. Uh, Y'all have a great day. It's a great day to have a great day if I didn't say it before. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.